का एक्सीडेंट हो गया उसे बोला ते हम सुन के आप घबरा गया गाननाय जोमनाय फेक जादों जोंहा धर्म मोनसान्दियाव जों आगोलाव मोनोमोन Protection of forest is one of the primary responsibilities of the forest department. With respect to protection, a beat guard is responsible for regularly patrolling the beat and preventing any illegal acts like felling of trees, poaching, encroachments, grazing, forest fires, or in case of occurrence, reporting it to his superiors through a preliminary offence report or POR. They are the lowest paid. Uh, of not only the forest department, which of course they would be, be given that they are the uh, frontline uh, staff, but if you compare them to other departments like police um, or army or any other uh, uh, arm bearing unit of the government of India which is set to protect a certain amount of the country, they are very uh, ill equipped. Some of the guns that they use are World War II uh, weapons. Um, they're not really trained to shoot except once in their life. Um, they, their uh, training in uh, legal cases, uh, training in uh, trying to um, address poaching on the ground is very, very rudimentary. And most importantly, their morale in many states, I won't say in all states, but in many states is really abysmally low because they are living for months inside the forest, away from their families, not even knowing about whether their families are safe or, or cared for and expecting to take on armed poachers uh, and expecting to fight for the wildlife of this country. Hello, Barbier, Barbier, the gecko. Despite these challenges, these brave hearts overcome harsh field conditions to protect the forests and its animals against increasing demand for fuel wood, fodder and wildlife parts. Our problem is that we have so much forest में ड्यूटी कटा है ना वो सुविधा में नहीं मिलता है एक ही बयान रहता है उसके बाद उसको दूसरे दिन अगर ले पूछताछ की फिर वो बताता भी है कि वहां तो हम गिरफ्तार है दूसरे दिन ही दिखाते हैं जनरली उस दिन Rajendra Singh Chauhan, a range officer, has been actively working with the Madhya Pradesh Forest Department in busting the nexus of traders and poachers who deal in pangolin scales. In 2014, their team apprehended traders with three kilograms of pangolin scales in cash, arrested suspects from six different states, and busted a crucial network as well. Everything transpired as planned, but Chauhan and his team faced a legal hassle. They were not sure whether they had to issue a transit remand or a protection warrant. Unaware of other legal procedures, the team was losing hope. However, help came in the form of his participation in a VRP, the Van Rakshak project training workshop during which the participants were informed about various sections and subsections of Wildlife Protection Act 1972, wildlife crimes and modus operandi of poachers and the criminal procedure code. प्रोसीजर पता नहीं होती बहुत सारी चीजें इसमें हम लोग कभी-कभी फेल हो जाते हैं इतना मेहनत करने के बाद भी कोर्ट में तो इस तरह की ट्रेनिंग से हमें पता चलता है कि जो कार्रवाई जो हम कर रहे हैं वो कौन सी प्रक्रिया के तहत कौन सी विधि के उसमें कर रहे हैं ताकि हम लोग वहां जब कोर्ट में पेश करें तो ये सारी कमियां दूर हो क्योंकि वहां पे इतने सारे क्वेश्चन और जज के सामने और वकीलों के सामने तो हम ये जवाब नहीं दे पाते the Van Rakshak project, popularly known as the Guardians of the Wild project, was initiated in okay. 2001 okay. by the Wildlife Trust of India, or WTI, and its international partner, the International Fund for Animal Welfare, or IFOR, to minimize wildlife crime by strengthening and aiding wildlife protectors all over the country, and also looking after them. A dearth of trained and skilled manpower on the ground, techniques and equipment failing to curb wildlife crime made WTI come up with the project in the first place. Well, the Van Rakshak program is one of WTI's earliest projects. This is in line with the fact that the man on the ground, the frontline forest staff, is perhaps the most important uh, person in our viewpoint to save wildlife. 
and therefore one of our first projects um, early on uh, when we founded in 1998 uh, was to focus on the man in the ground, which we call the Guardians of the Wild or the Van Rakshak Project. Strategy is to take this force of 20,000 odd people and uh, convert them into an anti-poaching team, not all of them perhaps, but uh, some of them, into an anti-poaching team which has high morale, good training, good equipping and everything that is required to protect wildlife in the field. In different states, targeted training programs are being organized in collaboration with the state forest departments depending on the different ranks of forest staff for easier and effective guidance. A wildlife crime prevention training class is on in Brahmapuri Forest Division of Maharashtra for daily wagers, forest guards, foresters, deputy ranger and range officers. In this module, apart from basics required for undertaking a good investigation, filing legal cases against wildlife offenders, the training curriculum also includes making the frontline staff aware of the flora and fauna around, threats to wildlife and crime prevention. <laughs> और उन दौरान मैंने ये देखा कि हम केस में क्यों रिपीट खा रहे हैं हमारे केस में सफलता क्यों नहीं मिल रही है उन चीजों को मैंने संजोया है और वो जो चीजें मेरे पास हैं उनको मैं ट्रेनिंग के दौरान शेयर करता हूं लोगों को बताता हूं मोस्ट ऑफ द द द केसेस आर लॉस्ट इन द कोर्ट बिकॉज़ दे हैवन कलेक्टेड द इंफॉर्मेशन प्रॉपर्ली दे हैवन कलेक्टेड इट इन अ सर्टेन फॉर्म व्हिच ए ए जज वुड नीड टू कन्विक्ट द uh the criminal so if you do your paperwork right you might catch the criminal red handed but if you don't do your paperwork right he'll go scot free bhai maine trap lagaye hain acha aur kuch pata nahi aap jaake dhoond lo jo bhi hai theek hai to tum log tiger maarne ke liye trap lagaye hain bas usse zyada kuch mat bolna tiger ya tendu jo bhi hai unko apne jagah pe investigation karne de karne de theek hai aap log ek cheez dikhata hu aisa trap lagaye ko to kabhi lagega nahi theek hai After the theory classes, a mock crime scene class is being conducted, and participants have been given a particular field case to investigate, collect evidence, prepare the preliminary and final offence reports. The most critical part of this exercise are crime scene investigations and documentation, forensic evidence collection, preparing seizure lists, and recording statements of the accused. along with filing complaints at courts and case presentation by the investigation team in the courtroom what we do is uh, we uh, train them for a uh, uh, crime scene investigation where two of the participants are selected as poachers uh, uh, so we'll give them a uh, trap and uh, a few other things uh, few suspicious looking things and we'll take them to a location where we set up a crime scene where they they set up a trap and they leave a few evidences around to connect with them with the scene and all. and then the investigation team will come and they'll start interrogating these guys and asking questions and taking notes so what we would like to teach them is that you know how to connect to people with the crime scene and how to collect evidences and how to document these evidences and write a case as 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 possibly as near as how a tiger poacher will come and put a trap so we are using actually we are using original traps which was confiscated from a, a trader or poacher earlier and that same trap is used so that the staff also will get to see the thing In a biodiversity rich country like India which possesses many endangered animals like the tiger, rhino, elephant and leopard it becomes essential to train the forest staff to fight wildlife crime by training them to handle crime scenes and have a know-how of every minute detail of the Wildlife Protection Act 1972 so that no criminal gets away easily. Wildlife adalat to khora request kolo. Wildlife adalat to This is an I4 WTI VRP trading program being conducted for the frontline staff of the Greater Manas Landscape in Assam. During the course of this wildlife crime prevention training, frontline forest personnel from the Greater Manas areas are being trained in different batches. Prothom kotha ki guli jodi marse, kon jagar kara guli marse? Jodi uddesh dise eyor eyor ke dibale basa. you look at the educational status of the current forest staff 
and their uh, background. What we have done is probably uh, change the mindset of the reserve forest people to uh, book their offences fr from an archaic law to Wildlife Protection Act, which is more advanced and more uh, stringent in terms of uh, law. So that we have uh, probably managed to do over the last four years, just to change their mindset. And, uh, uh, and this has to be a continuous process. This has to be a continuous refresher. The participants are being given VRP's Module E training, Fresher and Refresher, which has been especially developed by VRP mentor, Pupen Talukdar, a former Divisional Forest Officer in the Assam Forest Department, in consultation with Bhaskar Chaudhary from I4WTI. This module intensively focuses on wildlife laws, crime scene investigations and offence report writing. Two days of classroom sessions and one and a half day of practical sessions on crime scene investigation and offence report writing are being conducted. Theory includes important sections of the Wildlife Protection Act 1972, amended up-to-date relevant sections of the Indian Penal Code 1860, the Code of Criminal Procedure 1973, the Assam Forest Protection Rules 1997 and the Arms Act of 1959. 90% they have not heard the world person act. They must know actually what is their power and what is the crime. The basic thing is not actually been uh, known to them. What we got two years back, no? those people who are coming for the pressure course, they are totally actually motivated and they are start, starting reading this world person act and actually exercising. It's not rare to hear of a forest guard who lost his life fighting wildlife criminals or to the very wildlife he's fighting to protect. In most cases, they are the sole bread earners of poor families leaving behind aged parents and helpless wife and children. Most often, compensation by the forest department is too little and too late as most of these guards are contractual workers and paperwork and outdated laws prevent any timely help. 54-year-old daily wager Shivan Markskole, member of the patrolling team of the Bench Tiger Reserve, was killed by poachers. His body was recovered a month later. <laughs> Pupin Paul Hazarika, 50-year-old forest guard, died on duty near the Haldibari forest camp on National Highway No. 37. हम ये सोचा था जे घर वही तो चलाती है कैसे हम चलाएंगे कैसे अच्छा लोगों को पहाएंगे Fifty two year old Pakiram Basumatri was killed by a wild elephant inside the Manas National Park while on duty under the Bhuyanpara range. In order to boost the morale of the forest guards, the I4WTI's Guardians of the Wild project started one of its kind insurance schemes for forest staff all over India. This project provides free insurance cover to frontline staff ensuring immediate aid up to 100,000 rupees which is approximately 2,000 US dollars in case of permanent disability or death. Most forest uh, departments again uh, do give their employees uh, a certain amount of insurance but it takes so long to reach them that if, if if, if somebody loses his or her life on, on duty, it uh, uh, is not really help to the family. Temporary staff don't even get that. All the staff are staff of the government of India or of state governments, and it's their responsibility to, to actually insure their own staff. What we do is we give a supplementary insurance in case they're injured or have permanent disability or God forbid they lose their lives. Then either they themselves or the next of kin uh, would get speedy relief uh, from the Wildlife Trust of India as supplement to what they will eventually get from the government sources. Um, this actually just gives them a sense of 
belief that if something happens to them, uh, some amount of money will go to their next of uh, kin very quickly. Or, or if they are in hospital and need aid themselves, that they will get that very quickly. The bureaucracy is less. Within 30 days, the money reaches where it's supposed to reach. WTA ka insurance jo hai, ek apne siwan naam ka dud gaon ka tha, Srimik. Wo usko ek lakh ka check mila aur uska parivar ko saitha. Currently, more than 20,000 forest staff are insured under this group accident insurance scheme of the VRP. Insurance in ex-Croatia has been paid to 143 forest staff in 23 states. Frontline staff across the country are also equipped with field kits for foot patrolling. Useful and crucial items like rucksacks, sleeping bags, raincoats, jackets, torches, water bottles, etc. help these foot soldiers in their daily duties. The lack of existence of a centralized database with records of all Forest Department staff led the VRP to create a unique database called the Protected Area Staff Status tracking the progress and careers of the Forest Department staff across the country, including all ranks from the range forest officers to the temporary staff. We've created a database which can tell you on a given day how many forest guards or forest employees in the country will retire. They'll tell you what their shoe sizes are. They'll tell you how many children they have. They'll tell you whether they go to school or not. No other organization, not even a central government organization, has a database like that. So successfully, we have arrested it. Over the years, one of the crucial learnings for the project was the need to have highly motivated and knowledgeable trainers who are able to mobilize the ground force that saves the country's wildlife. Thus, the project incorporated the training of trainers workshop, where wildlife crime specialists Lawyers and biologists undergo special trainings to ensure maintenance of quality in training imparted to the frontline staff. From the time of its inception in 2001, VRP has trained over 16,000 forest staff covering more than 100 protected areas over 18 Indian states. Today, in the era of increasing human greed for wildlife paths and dwindling forests, it is projects such as the Guardians of the Wild that give us hope that one day protectors of India's natural heritage will be strong, skilled and a well-equipped force which will effectively tackle the dual threat of poaching and habitat destruction. And one day they will get the respect that they deserve. Recognize that they are protecting 12%, 13% of India. I mean, Kargil protectors, we call them war heroes. These are people who are dying every day protecting 12% of India. They are as much heroes in the eyes of the nation and if we can recognize that and give them importance then I think we'll ever see change. मुखी होने से तो वो फायर करता है। ये लोग तो स्ट्रॉंग हथियार हैं। हम लोग तो स्ट्रॉंग नहीं हैं ना। हम लोग का तो कोई थी वन फाइव है। इसीलिए हम लोग का तो खूब डर लगता है। बारे में ये जो भी जंगल है, ये जंगल मानवता के दृष्टि से बहुत जरूरी है। जंगल रहेंगे तो अपन रह जाएंगे। उनसे it's in his hands that you are leaving the future of uh, nature protection in any country. And unless you take care of that person, unless you have an effective, well-motivated, well-trained man on the ground, even political will not help.